Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I am a professional hairstylist and welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> Today, I am going to be cutting my hair. I'm not doing anything like drastic, but I wanted to just clean up my cut. The last time I got a haircut was over three months ago just to make sure everything is looking fresh and healthy and to you know allow my hair to continue growing because i am trying to grow it out but let me show you what my haircut looks like at the moment so i do have some long layers throughout but then the length of my hair as you can see from the back it is blunt and all one length straight across and then i have some face framing pieces which are getting pretty grown out at this point so I think I'm gonna trim those up and make them a little bit shorter and I also if you see when I pull all of my hair forward because it comes to all one length in the back which originally is what I wanted and what I liked but then when I pull it all forward you can see the front is longer than these pieces in the back so I want to just bring it across to all one length in the front so that way when I pull it forward it'll look super blunt and make my hair look like really thick and full from the front and then what that's gonna do is then when I pull my hair back it's gonna have a slight V shape to it in the back so I just thought that this would be interesting and it's not necessarily a tutorial but you know you can kind of watch what I'm doing and maybe pick up some tips for yourself so I'm going to let me just do it like this make it easier I'm gonna put a cape on myself you can grab a towel or whatever that way I don't get hair all over myself it's really hot today too and I'm a little sweaty if you couldn't tell so I really don't want this hair stick it all over me so first things first i'm gonna brush through my hair because i have not brushed it yet today and i'm doing this on dry clean hair no product in it i didn't style it all i did was i blew it out straight and you can see it's not pin straight but i never wear my hair completely pin straight so if you do wear your hair pin straight you're gonna want to style it like that whenever you're cutting it so that way everything is like falling where it's supposed to i always part it down the middle i have a pretty intense widow's peak though so my parts are never completely perfect and again i'm just cleaning up my cut i'm not chopping off a significant amount so it doesn't have to be completely perfect so i have my hair parted where i normally part it and i'm just going to follow that middle part all the way down straight across in the back and pull it all forward in front of me so for this tutorial not really tutorial you're gonna need a comb some kind of clip and of course some hair cutting shears do not go and grab scissors from your kitchen or from your craft drawer you want proper shears that are meant for cutting hair because otherwise you could create damage to your hair. You wanna make sure that you are creating a nice, clean, sharp cut. And then I'm also gonna be using some texturizing shears. So these, as you can see, they have little teeth in them. So they don't cut a straight across line. They create like a jagged line, almost like a weave kind of. So these are gonna help create texture and deep bulk, which I really like to do for my layers because I don't want them to like be too blunt or look too like choppy or steppy. So I'm going to start with the left side of my head and I'm gonna take a section straight across and split that into two, just so I have a little bit less hair to work with. If your hair's thicker than mine, you can take an even smaller section if you need to. So I'm gonna comb it all forward and I'm gonna see where the shortest piece is. So you see the difference in the length there? I wanna just bring it all to there so that it's all one length and blunt from the front. So I'm gonna comb through that and then I'm gonna put the hair between my pointer and middle finger drag that down and I'm just gonna cut straight 
straight across and you want to keep your head straight you don't want to like tilt or move around because any way that you tilt your head it's going to create over direction with the hair and then when you do look straight it's not going to be a straight line so you want to just hold your head completely straight forward so i'm going to let this top section down brush it all down and i'm going to do the exact same thing so you can see the blunt line and then where this is a little bit longer so that's what i'm going to cut off right there can you see the difference this side versus this side like look how much thicker and fuller that makes my hair look from the front right compared to this side so we're going to do the exact same thing on this side i'm going to split it in half comb it all down and I'm just gonna cut right at that shortest piece. Let the top layer down, same thing. And then I'm just going to check and make sure that everything feels like it's pretty even on both sides okay so now that i cut the length when i pull it back you can see a little bit of a difference before it was like all straight across one length in the back and now it is a little more tapered and has a little bit of a slight v i'm gonna go through and clean up these layers so the way that i'm gonna do that because I already have the layers in my hair, it's easy for me to just like pick them up, but they kind of start like by my temple. So if I come across at my temple and then I go in a little bit of like a diagonal back shape following the natural curvature of my head, that's where all of my layers are. So I'm going to pick all of this up and the rest of my hair I'm going to just push to the back and I'm going to split this into vertical sections to make it easier and I'm going to comb upwards like this. And I'm just going to point cut into these layers because I don't necessarily want to make them shorter but I do want to you know clean them up a little bit just like that I'm going to take another vertical piece Brush upwards. And you want to make sure that you are holding the hair with a really nice tight grip while you're doing this. And then same thing with this last piece. And the reason why I'm cutting into it like this rather than just like cutting straight across like that is because if I were to just cut a straight across line, it's going to be so blunt and it's going to just look really steppy and choppy and not be blended. And I don't like that look. That's not what we want. We want these layers to be soft and blended. So same thing on this side, starting at my temples going in a diagonal back shape following the head shape push this hair back Whew! i'm getting sweaty can you tell <laughs> it's so hot in here
So now I do want to cut my face frame just a teeny bit shorter. So I'm gonna go like two inches back from my hairline and I'm gonna come down and make a triangle just like that. And then these are gonna be my face frame pieces. And there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can brush it across this way and just cut into the hair. Do the same thing on the other side. And then just comb it forward, make sure that it's about the same length on both sides, which it is. Just a little bit shorter. I don't necessarily want them to be like bangs, but you know, I just wanted to bring them up a little bit. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, cause these layers are already decently blended, but I do wanna texturize them a little bit more and just kind of like debulk. So I'm just gonna literally grab wherever I see layers and then I'm going to take my texturizing shears and I'm going to just cut into the lengths of it and same thing you'll notice I'm going in vertically because even though these won't create like a blunt straight across line but sometimes I feel like you can kind of see the zigzag line that it cuts so I like to go in vertically so that way it is undetectable and you see how that just like softened that up even more. It's just like makes it so much softer and more blended. Like this side, I feel like you can see the layers a little bit more than you can on this side. This side, they all just like blend in. And then on this side, they're just like kind of sitting there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Grab the layers where I can see them. and kind of fan the hair out. And you don't want to do this too, too much because you don't want the ends to look like frayed and thin and, you know, damaged. So I always say do a little bit at a time, brush it out, see how it looks, and then if you need to debulk some more, or cut some more, then do so. But, you know, you don't want to go crazy and then end up cutting too much super simple i didn't really cut a lot off but i do feel like it made a huge difference in how my hair looks i feel like it just looks a little bit more freshened up definitely fuller especially from the front actually let me take this cape off so you can see it a little bit better <laughs> so yeah you can see how just looks a lot fuller from the front so yeah that's how I cut my hair at home so yeah let me know what you guys think I am so sorry for how sweaty I've looked throughout this video so I'm gonna go sit in front of the air conditioner now but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video found it entertaining maybe learned something um if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go and follow me over on instagram for more hair tips and tutorials and i'll see you in my next video bye